Today on CJ Off-Road, we're going to help our JL breathe a little easier with the help from Engine. If you're looking to increase the performance out of your JL Wrangler, today we're going to be installing this Engine PowerFlow cold air intake featuring a polished tube and a cotton oiled filter fitting a 3.6 liter JL Wrangler. This engine intake is a direct fit upgrade to all 2018 JL Wranglers equipped with a 3.6 liter engine. Now they claim that it's going to give you power gains up to 9 horsepower and 11 foot pounds of torque and it's also going to give you a loud aggressive intake tone when you're accelerating on the throttle. Features a mandrel bent 6061 T6 aluminum induction tube with a cotton oil filter that's going to give you increased performance and eliminate a lot of that extra nonsense underneath the hood including that factory air box. Now this intake is also available in a black tube with a dry filter, however we're going to get this installed on our two-door JL Wrangler and see how it performs. Tools you need for this installation, quarter inch ratchet, 8mm socket, 10mm socket, trim removal tool, and a small pair of pliers. We're at the front end of our JL and before we can install our new in-gen cold air intake, we're going to remove the factory intake system. The first step of the removal process is to remove this breather hose right here by depressing on this gray section and pulling towards the firewall. Just pop right out. Next, remove the two 10 millimeter bolts holding on this factory induction tube. To remove the temperature sensor here, what we're going to do is just lightly twist it counterclockwise with an adjustable crescent wrench and pull it straight out. Just be very careful with these. They're plastic, don't put too much pressure on them or they will break. From the inside here, just gonna grab a hold of it. Twist it lightly counterclockwise and you can do it by hand. Just breaking it free in the beginning and then just slowly rock it back and forth and it'll pull right out. Remove the two push pins holding it on here. And just set the sensor aside in a safe spot. There's another push pin that actually holds onto your factory intake that you have to remove before you can get it out. It's right behind here. I've got the trim removal tool on it. Just pop it up. Up by the throttle body, there's going to be an 8mm bolt that holds on this band clamp from the soft part of your induction tube. Use an 8mm socket to get it pulled off, or you can use a flathead screwdriver. Don't fully twist it off, just enough to loosen it up so you can get this off your throttle body. The last bolt holding this intake on is going to be this 10mm here over on the passenger side fender. Once again, just pull that out. Once it's free, we'll now be able to remove the entire intake. Now over here, it's actually stuck in through these rubber grommets. Give it a nice pull. Just kind of work on it a little bit and it'll pull right out. The first step of this is actually going to be to grab your oiled filter and put it inside of this housing. Now it actually twists in and locks in there, making it a really nice feature to have. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in there. And now there's little corners on that'll actually go into the slot. You'll feel it go in there all the way and then turn it and it drops in. You actually feel it drop in a little bit and now this will not pull it out. You can clearly still see it through this window right on the side and we can now put the tube in the Jeep and keep rolling with the install. We're going to now install this bracket here onto our intake box. Now you've got to be careful when you do it. At this end of this bracket, there's offset holes. So one's at the top and one's here at the bottom. We're going to twist it with that offset hole at the top, pick this up and it's actually going to mount just like that using the supplied bolts. We'll get it bolted down and as you can see, the holes line up if I can hold it straight. And right there, they're good to go. We'll put the hardware in there and then put the bracket on the bottom and get those bolts mocked up. Just get them started by hand. Then they're actually gonna use a 10 millimeter socket to get them tightened up. Okay, now we're gonna turn it over. Put some hardware on the bottom here. The rubber pieces here are going to go up from underneath in through and then get a washer and a nut. This is actually what's going to fall into that bracketry that's underneath where your factory air box went. Just slide it in, put a washer and the flange nut onto it. We'll get it snugged up. Use a ratchet to get it fully tightened up. We're going to put two of them on here.
Place your intake box into place by pushing it into the factory location to the grommets and it'll freely stand a little bit, kind of fall a tad bit, but we're gonna put that tube in as well as get some clamps up on this throttle body next. Slide two clamps over here and then we're gonna put this right over the factory throttle body. Push it all the way to the edge. Make sure it goes underneath too. Get the clamps to both edges. Now we can go get our intake tube. Place the grommet for the temperature sensor onto your intake tube. Make sure it's fully seated. We're gonna push this end of the intake tube onto the throttle body side. And then before we get it onto our air box, I'm actually gonna take one of these clamps and slip it over here. Rotate it downwards. Let's get these clamps tightened up using an eight millimeter socket. Then we can get our temperature sensor installed. We're going to now reinstall the temperature sensor onto that grommet that you installed. Just lightly twist as you go in, that way the grommet doesn't fall inside the tube. There you go, it's fully seated. Place this clip back onto place. You hear the snap, then we can tighten down our last clamp over here on the air box. Once you get that last hose clamp tightened up, your installation is complete. Well, the InGen cold air intake is successfully installed into our 2018 JL Wrangler, and honestly, it looks really awesome under our engine bay here. It classes it up in the front. It removed a lot of extra weight that we had up there with that big, bulky factory air box. It took about an hour to remove it and install the new one, which I think is really simple for an intake kit. And you can find it as well as the black tube right here at cjponyparts.com. Hope you enjoyed that video. To stay up to date on our CJ Off-Road videos, make sure to subscribe up top here. And for any other installs, make sure to click the link right above.